I've still got a lot of items and upgrades left to unlock, so it's another viewer suggested run today. This time, broadsword run based run, kind of, because everything else is turrets and cr just throw the conduct up on the screen. Yeah, ice crossbow turrets, and also broadsword. I'm not really entirely sure what to make of this one, if I'm being perfectly honest. Broadsword makes sense, that's a weapon that people have been kinda wanting to see for a little while, has been changed up quite a bit since the 1.1 update. The, what is it? Second and third strikes are critical, which gives it a lot more killing potential than it once had, and I'm hoping a lot more potential at breaching enemies, because this weapon is still very slow to use, and getting them stunned like that is probably gonna be the best way to do damage. However, the run also asks for turrets and the ice crossbow, which is, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess the best way to go about doing this is survival, split survival and tactics run. Yeah, that's some good breach. Uh, split survival and tactics run, every point of survival. I also put one point in tactics, or maybe I could go full survival, get a couple crushers, and then um, maybe hope for a colorless survival crossbow or just use it to freeze. I'm really not sure. I mean, obviously, one of the best things I could probably do is, on the broadsword, get the affix that gives me 175% uh, extra damage on frozen targets, which I'm definitely going to be going for. But aside from that, I'm still... Well, let's just say relying on getting some sort of colorless weapon or turret or something like that, very unlikely. And I would like to go as tanky as possible, especially with this run. So I suppose we will just... Nah. Uh, so I suppose we will see exactly what the future holds with how this goes. As always, it's going to be three run three attempts at a run, and then I'm going to call it a day because it's probably not going to be going where anywhere after that. I mean, unless I die like three times to uh, a curse or something, but come on, what are, the, what are the odds of that happening? What are the odds of that? It's, it's almost, I don't know if I'm even going to get cursed here. The broadsword is, uh, yes, I'll take you. And actually... Yeah, no, Garrett, get out of here, double crossbow matic. I don't need you. Yeah, the uh, the broadsword is slow. I am fully expecting to get hit a whole... Oh, so much for that. All right, let's get some rally here. Or not, because... Not really working out now, is it? Yeah, you know, as much as I want to use the broadsword here, it's like, yeah, like I said, broadsword is slow. It's slow, and it's still pretty difficult to use. So I don't really know how much I'm going to be using that over turrets most of the time. I'm really expecting that with if, if I do get lucky and have to get a whole bunch of heavy turrets, then that's going to be the main source of damage that I'm getting out of this run, perhaps. And just go, you know... Freeze enemies in place, run up to them, get a big hit in with the broadsword, and mostly let the turrets otherwise take care of it. Good for bosses, maybe not good for anything else. And in fact, yeah, sure. Well, how much is it? Yeah, barnacles. Look, I like me a good barnacle. Y'all know that. I think that one of the best way, one of the best combos of turrets in the entire game is barnacle heavy turret, just because you get the invincibility of a. Uh, Sure, I'll just go with whatever. Uh, because you get the invincibility of a barnacle, and then you also get the amazing killing power of a turret. So something's always attacking at all points in time. You not really get anything for mutations, so I guess just the heart? I'm already half down on my very, very cursed amount of health right now. Uh oh. So I think I should be pretty careful here. Maybe grab something like a necromancy next just try to go full heal if i'm expecting to get hit you know if i'm expecting the worst i'm going to be no i'm going to be preparing for it after all also yes i forgot that uh, during the last stream oh well so much for that during the last stream i switched uh, the food stuffs over to croissants J sure why not <laughs> i'll also have that be suggestions too hey what what food do you want me using today even though again i would just like to say that i Hmm, that's going to be an issue. I'd just like to say that I do think that the canon food stuff should be fruit, as per my normal branding, but, you know, you can choose whatever. I'm not going to say you can't. Uh, Crusher could be good, but compared to two heavy turrets, it's like, nah, I'm going to be going for that. Okay, freezing, and... Yeah, the slowdown alone, I mean, again, provided that I'm not... Oh, come on! 
Eh, chalk that up for another um, loss of this in the loss of the heart in the secondary of the game. Cool. Three attempts. Three attempts. Remember. <laughs> Extra freezing, more health, I'll take it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta remember to use the Ice Crossbow. Ice Crossbow is going to be the best thing. Slows down enemies, makes sure you can get at least one solid hit off of them on the... With the broadsword. It's just... You know, what about Frost Blast? That's, that's a lot of extra damage, and it doesn't have the weird kind of awkward charge up time. Stuff like that. I know I don't really use the Frost Crossbow a whole lot, which is probably another reason why I got that one suggested this time. Okay, then. I was too focused on trying to hit the flying enemies. I've been going into the promenade way too much. I gotta hit up the sewers sometimes here. And with a pretty heavy turret-based build, I think that this is about the time to be going and doing it. Why not? Sure. I also got a pretty good combination this time. A heavy turret that has 100% unpoisoned, and heavy turret that generates a toxic cloud around the trap. Do you think that I might be going for the heavy turret most of the time in this run? If you assume that, you would be correct. God, still having trouble kind of dealing with the slowness of this weapon. Because as soon as it commits to a hit, you can't... Here, like, I'm gonna mash on the dodge button uh, as soon as the hit starts to go off. Yep, and that was the earliest that I could dodge, which tends to get me hit a lot. Animation canceling isn't just for... Uh, like your um, bayonettas or whatever. It is, it is also pretty useful in this game. Yeah, character action games, that what they're called? I don't know. Oh, that was close. All right. Also getting 100% on a poison target on my broadsword would be very good too. Or even additionally getting a, ah, dang it rally. But, uh, or even additionally getting a, um, Survive a point of survival on there instead of the brutality that I'm working with would also be good. Yeah, and I, I do think that as much as I do in general like the combination of survival and as much as I do like the general combination of survival and uh, tactics, I do also think that a lot of the time I usually tend to take ranged weapons instead with that, rather than working with the uh, kind of melee weapons like this. This sort of thing I think would be a little bit better suited for something like a brutality type run. Or at least more grenades, like huge burst damage rather than the sustained damage that you get off of the turrets, I would say. It's kind of hard to tell because, in general, I do feel like a uh, survival-based weaponry, as I've been using it, has just not really been... Doesn't do anything because I took that inside. Survival-based weaponry just hasn't really been as... Like, the, the melee weaponry just hasn't really been as good for at least the way that I like to play lately. So it's been a bit difficult to, you know, craft runs around that because I do tend to just get hit a lot, especially with the huge amount of enemies around here and the huge amount of projectile using enemies especially. Because if you if you can, say, you know, breach a regular enemy, you know, get him stunned and knocked around a little bit, that's one thing. But then you also, especially on these higher cell modes, have a ton of enemies just shooting at you anyway. <laughs> it's good against a singular target, not too good against a bunch of targets at once. At least that's my opinion. I also do really like the changes to the broadsword and, you know, everything like the symmetrical lance and all of that are pretty fun. But at the same time, I also tend to uh, just have too much trouble using them. I, I think that's ultimately what it comes down to. It's like it's more trouble than it's worth to actually try to get these weapons working. Although I think that even in 4-cell mode, it might actually be even better as opposed to three cell mode against all odds just because yep just because i uh would be grouping up enemies so hard so a lot of the weapons like the war spear or the symmetrical lance suddenly become a lot more useful because you can always get the critical going on every single time even the ability to just hit a whole bunch of enemies all the time with the broadsword I mean, the broadsword doesn't just hit in front of it, it also hits behind it, which is pretty helpful. 
for uh, making sure that you can clear out crowds, at least with, with relative ease. I don't know. It's just that, like I said, I'm, I'm just having too much trouble using these weapons lately to... Sure, good enough. That's Even though I lose out on the consistent toxic, I do gain frozen and I do gain 75% extra damage being heavy turret V over 3. Why not? I think that that's about the best I'm going to do. And I do believe that in 2 is a curse chest, which... Unless I want to do some crazy turret play here, maybe I do. I mean, let's be honest here. One hit point right now. And that is 100% on... Okay, lose out on a little bit of damage. Probably would gain more damage, just... Based on the 100% on... It's 175% on Frozen target. Nah, it's not worth it. I think I would rather have just the, the basic... The basic uh, base damage first, and then worry about... Worry about getting the good affixes a little bit later in the run, where I'm, when I'm more secure in money and all that. Yes, yes, yes. I, sa I said that it's like maybe I do want to do a little bit of turret play right now. After all, you still have... Not when you're cursed. I forgot. Can't use the homunculus rune when you're cursed. Otherwise, that would have been a great way to do a whole lot of extra damage. Why, Motion Twin? Why do you do this to me? Is it because I showed off that technique in the uh, homunculus rune video those many moons ago? It probably is, but... <laughs> All right, all right, all right, fine. I can deal. I can deal. It's okay. It's just uh, looking a little bit worse. This is definitely not the time to be using the broadsword, if anything. I keep attempting to make it really work for me, and it's been working against me. And again, I would just like to say, it is my own fault. It is my own fault for not being better at using weaponry, but still, that's... The problem is that I am myself. So things that affect me tend to affect me a lot harder than they do other people. Anyway, let's just get out of here. Oh, I guess I'm just going to go right into the ramparts. Grab the... Grab, I'm thinking... Necromancy and try to hope that I can get health up easily. And he's not going to be teleporting to me here, so I can at least get free kills with turrets in this way. Little winding passages, just in general, tend to make it a bit easier to attack enemies from higher or lower areas where they can't hit you. Unfortunately, I also killed most of the enemies in this entire area, so that's not really going to be too helpful now, is it? <laughs> and at least I still got this available to me, somehow. Cool and nice. What do we got here? Lose out on the poison synergy, that's fine, though. I would like to have the strongest, most... I, I'm going into battle, and I require your strongest turrets, so... Just take those. Okay, I'm going to get the root grenade, and I'm going to save the rest for... First off, I'm going to pull the ripcord out of that dumb reference that I was making. And then I'm going to save the rest for getting the... Oh, let's say... Forge up a little bit, which I think is going to definitely help a lot. In the meantime, necromancy, please... And it's like, I was thinking, it's like, well, what if I took astronomy? I could probably find a piece of... I was finding a couple pieces of food pretty quickly in that previous level. It's like, what are you thinking? You got dead inside here. And I definitely do not want to try to re-roll this immediately. Those re-roll costs on the mutations are still killing me so much. I can't believe motion to... Ah. That's... Look, man. Just nerf dead inside. And make it so that I can re-roll mutations easier. <laughs> And re redo the difficulty of some enemies so that I can, say, beat the hand of the king without needing to rely on dead inside for. Okay. Still not getting as much out of the the frozen turret. What what is this thing called? The ice crossbow. Frozen turret. What does that even mean? Okay. All right, and then two left. Yeah, I should be I should be trying to freeze enemies a lot more, and I know that, and you all know that, and we all know that, but I'm still not doing it. Ah I was very scared there for a second. <laughs> With the Inquisitor. Okay, do you okay, okay, I just want to point out real quick. You saw the arrow not only hit that guy, but apparently it was right at the end of the fall off for the for the weapons. The, the arrow, at least, and it just didn't do anything. Oh, 
come on. <laughs> oh, why? All right, here's a good time for this to do or not. Remember, if I get hit by anything, that was very close. Dad, stop tempting fate by going back into the arrow. It's like, if I get hit by anything, I'm going to die. But I am at least getting 0.52% after the death of an enemy. Okay, I feel like my dead inside play might have been a bad idea now. I forgot, right, I'm not actually doing pure survival. I'm doing split survival tactics. And that's, a uh, right at the end of that range, eh? Doing split survival tactics, big difference there. Because it's everything's just not quite as powerful. Jack of all trades, master of none. And that's usually the issue when it comes to... When it comes to using a turret like this. Where you can do two things kind... You can do one thing really well, or you can do two things kind of not so well. <laughs> not nearly as much. Something that Motion Twin, I know, in the past, has really, really tried their best to kind of balance out. I know that they were talking about in... Uh, maybe like the Brutal update or something, all the way back then, that they wanted it to be that... You know, two... Splitting two... Te splitting uh, two... Level, uh, two stats means that you have tons and tons of... I'm kind of surprised that the Slasher somehow didn't get up here. You, you have tons and tons of health, but you don't really have too much for damage. And, you know, glass cannon build if you're going a single stat. And it's like, nah, it's still all about the single stat, man. Ah, okay, okay. Which is why I'm... I'm I feel like I'm struggling, Stum. And you can already see that with how it's going... I, I mean, one, I should really just not even worry about... Uh, getting back my health or whatever by cheesing it out with stuff. I'm just going to use a potion charge just... Not, not even because it's the optimal way to do this. It is not the optimal way to do this. However, it is the faster way to do this. It is the way to actually get on with the run now and not worry about kind of hanging back forever until I'm barely able to get all of my health back here. It's in the interests of entertainment, let's just say that. Yep, not even remotely good. We're still dealing with this whole issue of the mid, the, the, the in-between biome weaponries just being so much better than stuff that you actually get in the, in the biomes themselves. Which, because you don't have nearly as much of a, a variance in the, in the, in the pools, if you're using like custom mode, it's like, it's pretty easy to get the weapons that you want in, in the in-between biomes, meaning that you'll have a pretty overpowered run. And I've said this before, I'll say it again, but it's like, I really do think that Motion Twin intends for you to use custom mode. That, like, normal mode is double extra challenge mode, almost, in the way that it's set up here. And okay. Turrets mean that I'm definitely not going to go fight the Conjunctivius this time. Still having trouble with that slow, a slow broadsword. I kind of feel like I want to go fight the conjunctive or er, the concierge right now, just to have a chance of getting in the 15-minute door instead. Because I do, I mean, I was just talking about how valuable some of the stuff is. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick sweep through the rest of the area, see if I can find a couple extra stats, and then not even worry about. Um, I mean, I've already been hit by the by the biter, so. Not even worried about getting my kill count up again. Cool, you know. Great. Alright, six and six. All very low in the grand scheme of things. And you know me, all about grand scheming, after all. So I should... I mean, it, it's, it's just terrible. <laughs> like, what the hell? Ah, oh, you know what? This is a good enough place to come back in on. <clears throat> so I figured out the basic combo that I want to be using. Shoot that immediately, which, you know, of course. And then also, just all in on survival and just use a colorless sinew slicer, which is what I've gotten here. Yep, seems to be working out for me so far. Did not take decide to take that inside this time because, man, man, oh man, oh man, health has been... 
an issue. I think I'm going to keep the damage reduction. Uh, the yeah, the massive damage reduction from the from projectiles for right now. And in the meantime, I did see yep you right up here. Mm, crusher, of course, because if I'm going to be going all in on survival, should be having a turret that also goes all in on survival. Yeah, the colorless weapons are going to be nice, and I will definitely use those. I mean, as always, one of the mo one of the best ways to go about doing a survival run is to get some good colorless weapons, because then you get all the benefits from having a huge pool of health, and none of the and none of the downsides of only being able to use very slow weapons. Oh my god! You can at least rally up a little bit. And in the meantime. This is also very difficult. All right, let's just make sure that I get freezing as much as possible. Also, maybe kind of like a large area, as, as much as that might hurt the crusher's usage a little bit. Still hit me in the face right there, eh? Wow, I just done very poorly. Also, that is a very inopportune time for him to appear. And it's a good thing that I accidentally hit the... Yeah, nice. <laughs> cool. It's a good thing that I accidentally hit the... Uh, hit the um, attack button with the broadsword twice, because otherwise I wouldn't have killed him in that last shot. Yep, the, the, the whole thing where you have to commit to these hits as soon as you do them is really screwing me up more than anything. I think that that's ultimately the thing that really has been an issue. Do I want to go for the cursed chest? I think I don't. I think that it would be a good idea, but this is also allegedly the last uh, <laughs> the last attempt that I'm going to be giving at this run, and I have a halfway decent one, at least for the time being, so I don't really want to give it up too quickly. Ah, screw it. Let's just go do it. Every single time. I, I waffle back and forth on these cursed chests so much, don't I? <laughs> I did kind. I did almost purposely leave a couple enemies near the beginning alive, just so that I might be able to. Okay, you've interested me. Uh, one hundred, but I also get an extra point of survival. Worth it? It's only like two hundred da less damage. Also get extra damage on a frozen target, though. Well, oh, just take it. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, I did purposely leave a bunch of enemies alive earlier in the level just to be able to take care of curses by, you know... Still can't do that. Why do I forget about this every... Whatever, Crusher will still be effective. Let's just say that. And the enemies that I left alive were all ones that weren't, say, Inquisitors. Or, you know, ones that would be very willing to attack me from a large distance. Biters chasing me around and stuff like that. Because those guys are also very difficult to deal with. Oh, except for this one. Which managed to survive anyway. Oh well, took him down easy peasy enough anyway. Alright. Gotta be careful because if you commit to the hit and he's shooting at you, that archer will hit you. Ah, ah yeah, yeah, yeah. More cancelable animations. I suppose this is, is the one thing that I'm having tr trouble with this weapon now. Because I think the criticals are great. I think the... Uh, Survival has been improved a lot so that, you know, you really want to be taking it even aside from the... I guess I didn't clear this out as well as I thought. Survival has been improved so much that you even want to be taking it if you're not explicitly building a survival build just for stuff like gastronomy and... Oh, come on. <laughs> of course. You know what? Let's just start out right before the concierge here. Make sure that I have this run committed to getting somewhere this time. Now, thinking about that last run. Thinking about that last run. You might say I'm nuts. You might say that I'm crazy in the coconut. But I think where I went wrong was taking that curse chest. So I might try to avoid that in the future. We'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, I think that that's still a pretty workable sort of strategy here, and, uh, you know, I'm going to continue on with it because I think that's kind of has the best chance of success, or at least the best chance of, what, in about an hour and 20 minutes, uh, coming up with more than a grand total of 20 minutes of usable footage. 
Uh, yep, and there goes the, the chance at brightness and also legendary weapons. Still don't have, still using a pretty bad broadsword. Couldn't get really get much of anything better, but I do have less damage taken from one of my crushers. Ice crossbow still being the ice crossbow. You can't stop it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just don't think I can use crusher correctly. That That's like it, something wrong with me that prevents my brain from being able to not just hit things over and over and actually kind of plan out and carefully do my hits. Because that's all, that's every single time, uh, with the exception of, you know, curses. <laughs> that's kind of how I tend to get hit or die. And I've had more than a few deaths off screen as well. It's just uh, hitting an enemy and it's like, nope, here comes the Inquisitor. And that was actually very close to another one of the same story. Just, yeah, okay, so he's already pretty resistant to already pretty resistant to frost which is unfortunate and having half as many points of tactics as survival is not really going to be doing me any good if I want to try to hit him like that <laughs> oh well I can at least uh, get a couple more homunculus rune hits in on here oh he still got me anyway what a jerk Okay, not too bad. I mean, I'm getting some solid hits in, but that's not really the name of the game. Still taking way too much damage in the meantime, after all. Hey, stop getting out of range of my crushers here. The only thing that's really doing a substantial amount of damage is right now. Yeah, as much as I like crushers, they are pretty difficult to use, and that's kind of why I tend not to focus on them as a primary... as like a... You know, a good source of damage from turrets. Things that kind of work on their own, you know. You throw them down, then you let them attack enemies are a little bit better for me. All right, well, there's at least the first boss kill. I'm feeling somewhat okay about whatever. It was colorless, yes. And I did just unlock that because I have a whole host of different things that are going to require me to use that. The ice, uh, the ice bow later on, so might as well get her... So I was thinking, might as well get it done right now, because it seems like I'm not never going to get to the forge at this rate. <laughs> Straight up. Pierce all enemies, 100% on a poison target. Enemies burn when they die. Wow, what a good ice bow. Anyway, I can't take it. So just, let's say... You, I guess. No, no, you know what? Let's just take a... I'm just going to take a good potion, potion usage just right now, just to make sure that I don't lose like the second that I get into the next area. That would be embarrassing. So close to the hundo. If I actually made it here at any point in time that I said that I was going to, that I said that I had a good chance against the concierge, I probably would have already been able to get that. But nope, no such luck. So, Stilt Village. Many tiny, fast, teleporting enemies. We're going to the Slumbering Sanctuary. Yeah, I know I'm going to have to deal with golems, but... Golems tend to stay still a lot, making them good prey for the... the crushers. Also, the fact that I do have some form of freezing here will help out quite a bit. Also, just in general, a lot more places to do stuff like this. Not really doing a whole lot of damage, though, is it? And anything else here? A little hard to see. Would be nice if I had some sort of cooldown reduction right now, but I'm also not really betting on it, you know? There's nothing that... Even if Instinct of the Master of the Arms, the... Yep, I saw you. The... Mutation that gives you cooldown reduction on... Hmm. Maybe you? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the... the That allegedly gives you cooldown reduction on critical hits would be pretty useful with the broadsword. But I, as far, last I checked, it wasn't working, and I don't think it's working still. And also, I don't have it unlocked on the save file yet. Now, there's a few things where I think that that mutation would be very, very good... But you do need to unlock those things first. Comes from the Lancer, which is an enemy all the way in the castle, which means that I'm extra, extra unlikely to be able to get it <laughs> how I've been playing lately. Come on. Get crushed as many times as is required. 
Oh, come on, guys. Okay, throw down the crushes here, and then get door advantage. Okay, and there's door advantage. Not too worried about getting hit by the crystal thing. Just my um, kill count, which is now gone. Doesn't do too much damage is what I'm trying to get at here. Okay. I will lose out on the huge damage reduction from projectiles, but that is a lot of extra health. Uh, it's actually not too much extra health now that I'm looking at it. Uh, let's just, let's, uh, if it was like 2,000 health or something, maybe. But was that like 500 extra health? Not worth it. Okay. Uh, I'm trying the dead inside play again. I don't... I don't know, man. I'm questioning it right now myself. But I want to attempt it. I want to at least give it a try. Because it's, I, I'm still planning to get hit a whole lot. And I do have, what, 1.2%? So that's much less. And this doesn't even matter. What am I even in here for? I was thinking that might have been a curse chest or something, which really should not be taking anyway. What did I just say? But it is right there. <laughs> I don't have a death wish. It just seems like it. I like living on the edge, man. Shotsley Trail of Flames is also pretty all right. Now, I would like the 25% damage reduction. I like the toxic cloud around the trap. I think I'm going to air towards the side of the toxic cloud around the trap. And this is one that I can't pick up and move around with my homunculus rune, which this is the fourth time in this episode that I forgot you can't do that. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I was talking about like at other points in time. Yeah, that was close. But you know, I was talking about, you know, for the future. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about right now. What do you talk? What do you mean? Now, that would have made a lot more sense if I didn't just rant at myself about continuing to get things wrong, but... Well... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, and still actually hitting him up there. Good. Getting more usage out of the... Uh, fire than I guess I thought I was going to, so that's cool. I can maybe get some little bit of oil synergy on there. That would also be pretty nice. Anyway, I should be able to hit three more enemies here. Make this very quick and efficient curse removal. Ah, not quite. But that's fine, that's fine. I am starting to get a little cautious now. At least this is better than the Sinew Slicer that I had earlier. Which, as much as, yeah, Sinew Slicer can be good, I don't know. I mean, it's one of the starting turrets for a reason. There we go. This will work out quite nicely. Also, let's just do that to make sure that... You know, get, get, get some real scintillating gameplay out here. You know, really really make sure that uh, that you understand what, what the modern Dead Cells is like. Oh, hey, that guy that I streamed with said, yeah, sure, he'd be up for a stream today after I sent that message at 10 a.m. So I guess that's what's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Okay, anyway, uh, now that I've been able to check my text messages, let's go hit the AT switch and get out of here. Peak of professionalism. What are you even talking about? <laughs> okay, let's go. It was right after that curse chest, so all I need to do is hit it and be very, very careful past that point because those golems will still destroy me. And even probably more importantly than golems, I have a whole lot of kamikaze bats that are going to be running around here, ready to also explode in my face and take away all of my health at once. Ice Crossbow is going to be okay for taking those out, but okay ain't good enough. Carefully. I'm, I'm, it's already pretty unlikely for me to, and I already got rid of my Toxic Cloud. No, I still got my Toxic Cloud. Like, I don't think this is a great idea, but I, I'll try it. And I think that at this point, I might actually just go into the Sepulchre so that I can still get the Time Door. Because that would be another chance of getting a good broadsword, too, if I might be able to swing it. Okay. You know, let's just kind of circumvent this whole thing by climbing along the wall. Cool, and there's a stat up here. So, my cowardice has been rewarded as usual. 
Uh... <laughs> I told you those bats would be an issue if I wasn't. Just just get the freaking everything down. Oh, just... <laughs> mm, mm. That was, uh... I mean, it wasn't undeserved, but... <laughs> Still, I feel bad about getting hit by that. Now, in general, I would say that uh, this game is pretty busy, has a lot of stuff going on, but you can still pretty easily figure out what's going on in it. Sometimes. Sometimes there might be an issue. I mean, as somebody that has played through the entirety of Puss, you'd think I'd be very used to extreme visual noise and would be able to discern that a little bit better, but not always. Okay, now this is... Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. It's working out like I wanted it to, which is to say that I can kill a golem fairly easily. <laughs> And I think that over to the left of me, I think that's just a lore room, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Any stats up there? Fine, I'm not going to do a, a a complete uh, sweep of the area then. Just quick look is enough in a lot of cases, after all. And I feel like my build isn't quite good enough to be able to, you know, kind of fully explore areas in... Oh... <laughs> What's in here? Is this a cursed chest? Well, it's not quite good enough to explore the areas in ways that I would otherwise like to. I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it right now. Why do I do this to myself? Just, just do it. Ah, oh, all right. Ah, oh, bleed propagation too. That's not bad. And hmm. Do lose out on the Toxic Cloud, but they, they still emit Toxic Cloud when they die. And Pierce is the first target. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try swinging it. Good idea? No. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't do that in your own runs. Trust me. It's just, I'm not even all that confident. Just confident enough. Okay. Five enemies killed immediately. That's good. And now we're just gonna be very, very careful. Very cautious. And probably want to watch out for you. Because I feel like... Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. If I died to another curse there, I would have been very disappointed in myself. Nope, nope. I can do this quick enough. I can do it fast enough. No, damn it. <laughs> I mean, whatever, it worked out anyway. Man, those guys can grab you all the way from across the map. I think that's the first time that I actually attempted to do that. Yeah, this is a little bit closer to the door, although that Inquisitor would have still screwed it up. Like, I could have gone in there while he was trying to grab me. I've done that before. It's a, it's an, it, it is a... It is a workable solution, but to a very specific problem. And oh, yes, it's exactly what I need. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And also an increased damage on a frozen target. That's the synergy that I still have right now. All right, all right. Yeah, let's do it. Old Faithful. When did it get that, when did it get that quote? <laughs> all right, Bone Endless Quiver, sure, why not? Yeah, I know I'm muddying up the pool and everything for items that I can possibly find, but I'm not even worried about it at this point just because uh, I have most of what's going to be serving me for the rest of the run I feel at this point, I feel like. So I don't really care too much that I'm going to be maybe a little bit... might, might find some items that I don't really need. It's not like I'm going to be going for cursed chests at this point. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Definitely, no, I, but for real, I won't. What you got? Now, this is a place where the Crusher could possibly have been good, but again, hitting a bunch of enemies at once, especially with the 175%. Hey, 6119 DPS. That's almost 69, but not enough that I can say nice. But not enough that it is pleasant to the ears in any way to say that word. What you got? Nothing. Yeah, I'm not risking that. 
<laughs> you, you saw what happened last time. Do I have a... It launches a grenade. Oh, that's really too bad, because that screws up the frozen synergy that I got. Oh, well. That's one of those things that is, to this day, very irritating, and I don't even know how Motion Twin would fix it. I guess take out the shoots a arrow or throws a grenade or whatever, but that's about it. Anything else? Nah, I'm good. Hopefully we'll lose that tracker by the time that I go over here, and yes. No, no, nothing's good enough here. I should have sold the other one. It was worth more, but that's fine. Okay, there's still a chance for me. <laughs> I didn't get hit by the darkness there, which means that I, there's still a chance for me to get the 60, 60 kill door by the end of this. Getting all the way up there. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I have damage reduction. I have a uh, projectile damage reduction, so that ain't too bad. All right, all right. Much like that other run that I did, this one seems to really be working out in the late game, where you start to have a lot more stats and synergies and... Well, okay, it's really the... I, I would almost say it's entirely due to the very, very good pickups that I got for colorless turrets. They didn't have to be turrets, after all. They could have been anything. 100% on poison target, remains explode, nothing useful. Yeah, I didn't... I did, did, the colorless doors did not have to drop turrets. That's, uh, that's an important thing to remember. I got very, very lucky. And that's, uh, well, good for me, but it's also... Probably wouldn't want to rely on that in the future. Give me that. Well, actually, first off, before I lose my kill count, yes. 22 is not a whole lot of kills. However, it is still something. If I can get to... I, I want, like, 25 plus... Something down here. There we go. And, yeah, of course, it's one of the items that I got. That's fine. But yes, yes. If I can get like 25 survival, I'm thinking I'm, I'll be good. I'm thinking I'll at least be... It'll be a workable position. Broadsword, compared to a lot of other weapons, I want to say probably going to be good against the Hand of the King. He's a big dude. He's a big dude, and you can hit him with all of your critical strikes very easily. Of course, that will also leave me very vulnerable to getting hit back, which is kind of more of the issue. Okay. Bleed Propagation already paying dividends, as you can see. Good. <laughs> I knew that was a good take. Killed like 10 enemies alone doing that. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... The freezing's gonna help a little bit with the broadsword. It's not gonna help that much. Freezing wears... Enemies acclimate themselves to freezing very, very quickly, so... It's not something I can rely on to any extent. Okay. Get you over here. Bleed Propagation. And then also get you up here. Oh, that, that works anyway. The uh, Corpse Explosions was doing me good. The Corpse Explosions was a doing me good. You know what I said. <laughs> There's an extra 75% damage, etc. Which means that I should be good on that front. Again, because I, I like not taking a lot of damage from projectiles. That's always a, a favorite thing of mine. Especially considering the damage reduction has been reduced a lot in this game. 45 kills. I'm actually kind of making it work. Kind of making it work. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to be too sure of myself as of just yet. Lest I look foolish later on. It's something that I've never done before. Oh, God. Could you even imagine what feeling shame is like? I, I can't. I've, I've been told it's really bad, but as of right now, still gone my entire life without feeling it. Especially in this series. All right. Probably want to watch out for the Axe Armor, Axe Knight guy, whatever his name. Cleaver, Grinder, they have so many different names. <laughs> oh, he's doing the thing. He's doing the rolling thing. He's Fred Durston it down there. I love that. That's a really goofy glitch that happens occasionally. <laughs> 57. Oh, I'm so close. Okay. This will be 60. 
Now, after this, after the, the upgrade cutscene, I'm just gonna throw the broadsword out to the right and I should be able to take all three of them out at once. Oh yeah, I actually had the throws down grenade. That's, yeah, I keep forgetting that is the one time that it's kind of useful to be able to hit fast enemies by, oh boy. I, I've made it up though. Yeah, it's the, the one time it's useful is to be able to hit fast enemies so that if you're trying to hit like a flying enemy, it'll get hit by the grenade first and not explode in your face while you're still swinging your sword backwards. It's kind of useful, but it's, extremely specific in its use and I would say that you probably have something a little bit better to back you up there for example the ice crossbow in my case where I can just you know do this a lot better than relying on the grenade to come out fast enough or that it's not on cooldown or whatever because it's every time you swing that sword after all maybe that would be a thing to change changing it to like an active attack that you have to you know, press on your controller or whatever and, and like turn it into a mutation and then that would be able to take take it off as an affix and turn it into like some sort of active effect that you need a mutation to work. Maybe? Did the words that I said made make any sense at all? <laughs> it, I, I, I'm always on the fence when it comes to that. Okay, 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 okay. Should be just about finished up with this area and then... I, I could probably do the... That was very close. I could probably do the do dual tracker fight pretty easily, get a whole bunch of extra cells, and I might do that. There's always a... There's an increased chance that elites carry... Anything, anything, anything? No. There's an increased chance that elites carry legendary weapons, after all. Maybe I'd luck into another... You muddied up the pool, you idiot. But also, you... You... Maybe I could get, like, another... Turret, like a heavy turret to replace the sinew slicer, which is not going to be nearly as good in the upcoming area. Not a bunch of low HP. You know, there aren't a whole ton of low HP uh, flying enemies in the castle, after all. Roll. Be very careful. I am doing pretty good for health just based on having dead inside and high survival build. However, I don't want to risk getting hit. Still not quite the time for that. Okay. All right. Still not quite the time to get hit on purpose. <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. All right, just a bunch of extra cells. That's fine. And I want to say that I should be okay for the Timekeeper. Timekeeper's a fast character. She will get out of range of my broadsword a lot, so I'm probably going to rely be relying mostly on my turrets to be doing my dirty work here but at least i do know that the thank you i do know that the barnacle does in fact hit the man just everything eh? i do know that the barnacle does in fact uh, attach the top of her arena so i'm at least getting full usage out of that all right two potion charges left still working with the heart like I, you know i, I, I could and I was just talking about how... Yeah. Yeah, it's like getting most of the damage off of this. Sure. Also a lot of extra health out of that too. Nearly at 30k health now. That's good. That's good. I was thinking about upgrading the sword, but not quite the time for that, I want to say. It's like maybe if I fight enough elites or something in the next area, I'll be able to... All right. Well, excuse me. Okay, I think I'm going to save all my freezes just in case I get hit by that. Because that would be the... <laughs> Good. Also, it seemed like I got hit by that anyway, but except I didn't. Or something. So, whatever. You going to argue with it? I ain't going to argue with it. You know, I'll just let the turrets do, do the dirty work here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I was told that I could use turrets in this run after all. I wasn't told that you can only attack bosses with the broadsword or something like that. What are you doing? Don't waste your frost arrows unless... I mean, don't waste the frost arrows unless I get caught. All right. All right. 
if I can time it correctly. Oh. That actually wasn't too much damage. Also, this is too much damage, though. Oh, I'm getting stunned for a million years right now. Yeah, every time this fight tends to go on for too long, it's like... Just play worse and worse. It's, it's like I have to do this fight quickly, otherwise I just take so much damage. So much really poor damage over the course of this that hinders the rest of the run terribly. I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, nerves, I guess. You know, it's getting kind of freaked out, and then you start playing worse and worse over time, and then you kind of bring it back, but not enough. Oh, well. No free legendary for me. Didn't really think that I would manage to get it, because I don't... I'm still working without a whole lot of synergies, which is sort of the problem. I was kind of hoping that I might have been able to get uh, poison because of the sinew slicer, but no such luck. And there's a 100%. Cool. Coolio, yo. I don't really know what... I, I think you just have to get enough cells in that second layer because I am on three boss cell mode, so I should have that available to me. All right, here. I got at least got into the castle. It took four tries this time, break my normal rule of threes, but... At least this one I'm getting somewhere. Okay, well, I guess we got to do it like this then. Now, much like last time, remember not to rush it. Come on. <laughs> remember not to rush this too hard, because that's where you start to make mistakes and you start to do poorly. This is a good start, though. I'll take the thorny. I will probably not even attack the thorny. I'll, I'll probably just, yeah, go homunculus rune and my two turrets with the thorny and not worry too much about getting damage with the with the broadsword, but we'll see. Because, yeah, it would hurt me a lot to get hit by the back of him. Oh, here, I can also do this. What am I even thinking? I mean, it's a very low damage hit from the Ice Crossbow, but it is definitely a hit from the Ice Crossbow. Ah, oh, Ice Crossbow. You're such an awkward item to be using, I think. I mean, I always kind of had that issue with it, where it's like, yeah, well, it's kind of a worse Ice Bow. Maybe not at this point. Maybe it's a little bit better of an Ice Bow. And it's also a worse Heavy Turret. The worst of all. There you go. At least my hit is still faster than uh, Garen's there. Don't even try to mess around with that guy. If that guy was holding, like, a legendary weapon, I might have messed around with that Lancer. But I just do not think that it's worth it right now. All right. Okay. I'm feeling at least moderately good. I'm almost feeling like what I should have done was try to go for the... the Moonflower Keys again this time, try to get acceptance, but then I remembered, wait, no, Conjunctivius would have destroyed me. Would have utterly and completely destroyed me if I tried that. It was a good thing that I didn't go for that one. Okay. He already exhausted his spin. It's still on cooldown. So now's a good time for a Pentakill if you want to go get it. Yeah, I'm going heavy in on the Garen references. Somebody mentioned it in stream, and I was just like, yeah, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good... To the point that it makes me wonder if... Ah, that's fine, though. I still have a pretty... You know, can I at least rally up a little bit of that health? Good enough. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a close enough reference that it makes me actually wonder if Motion Twin did intend that. <laughs> oh, come on, Barnacle. Do better than that. Get closer here. I'm going to freeze you. Just shoot a million arrows at you. How about that? <laughs> all right, all right. Necromancy's still doing me pretty good. 3% heal after every kill, which is fantastic. Tarts ain't going to do too much against the Guardian Knight. Oh, God, again? Just kind of get right by there. 
And these guys, I mean, I just beat the exact same sort of a scenario fight in the last couple minutes here. I think that I can go deal with uh, this pair of elites. Gonna be in a little bit closer quarters, but should also be totally fine. All right, just gonna... There we are, and don't get hit by that. Even with the 75% damage reduction, I sure am taking a whole lot of it. And, all right, th I, think, I think I came out more on health from that anyway. Yeah, also, Ice Crossbow is good because you can freeze them in the water. I forgot. Man, it's like not until the third hit that I'm getting any decent amount of damage. From this. Oh. <laughs> I thought I picked up the key instead of latching onto his head. But apparently, it does work for that. <laughs> it does recognize when you want to attack an enemy then, but not when you're picking up a turret. Or trying to attack an enemy, in a lot of cases. Okay. Uh, I am at full health. I am at full health. Shouldn't even be screwing around with this. And in fact, if I get to the end of the area, I'm going to make a real attempt on the boss. Now, I do think that it is going to turn out in pretty much the same way as fighting the Timekeeper, where it, a good start, and then it quickly, very quickly, starts to go very badly. As much as I don't want to admit it, I do think that that's what's going to be happening. Take him down. Drop a train on him. All right. Completely missed <laughs> on the one turret, but that's fine, because more damage is better. That's kind of the uh, idea that I'm working with here right now. All right. It's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad, but still want to be very cautious around the Guardian Knights. Wait. Don't get hit by his sword, and I'm good. 14%, 11%. That's pretty good. And here's... Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, if that happened again. Oh, actually, I think it's just uh, right here that you're supposed to drop down or something, but I'm not... You know what? I don't even want to. I have such bad memories of it. The, uh, a single amethyst is not worth it. Hey, look, it's floating boxes in the air. Yeah, last time I, I pointed something like this out, um, people didn't actually recognize it. The background elements blended in too well. You can't get nothing by me, though. Ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> I see when you have cutoff. Here's acceptance. I'll get you one day. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Should, I, as always, we're coming to the point where I cannot... And yes, if you're wondering, I did see... Y you know what? Just so nobody comments on this. Yes, I did see this right here. I just thought it wasn't worth the effort to go get it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I should be coming on the end here. Coming up on the end. Because there's not too many more areas that I can go to. So... And I don't even know if I feel like going for the three boss cells. That slasher, I feel like, is probably... Well, actually, of the three... The best, the enemy that had the best chance at fighting me is probably the, the Thorny, but I abstained from using my sword on him. So aside from that, it's like... Slash, I suppose, would be the second most difficult. And I don't know if I want to risk it. After all, I don't have any potion charges left. I have nearly 40,000 health, which is incredible. Here we are. Anything else I want to do in here? No, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go and see how this is going to do. I might have gotten one extra stat in there at best. I'm not going to worry about it. Not even going to fret. Sure, why not? I do like to play hardball, but not in that way. <laughs> Anything else? Poison or frozen would be great. Good enough. Because I do still have the generate toxic cloud on the sinew slicer. Don't really need... Okay. Let's take out you. Replace you, you, and you? Yeah, if I get knocked into the 
spike pit, then I'd be mostly okay. In fact, there, if I do, if there is a move that I think that I can't, like I don't have time to dodge his gigantic slam, I might even just want to jump into the spike pit and take less damage. Well, let's see. 40,000 health. I'm like a boss by myself. <laughs> However, I also deal a lot less damage than this guy's gonna do. Okay. Uh, oh, well, that's not too bad. I, of course, I don't have any healing options, so not too. So any damage that I take here that isn't rallied up is gonna be sticking with me. Important thing to remember. Should have probably made sure that I had my. Okay. My uh, turrets. Ready to go. That's fine. That does give me poison synergy. Uh-oh. Not going too bad so far, but again, the fact that I'm out of potion charges is distressing. Oh, come on. I dodged that second hit. What are you talking about? I didn't dodge that one. You got me there. I was hoping I might have been able to get him into his next phase. Okay. It's not going too bad so far. Third phase is good, but I'm down half my health already. And also, much like I said with the slasher. Yeah, still worried. Okay, that's done. And, uh, no... My health! My precious health! What? That hit me? I was... Okay, come on. I'm not liking that tabard being over there. Okay, there's the heart. Forgot that I still have the heart. Hey. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, just one second away, got comboed by those bombs. Well, that was pretty good. 